Arnold Schwarzenegger. Born to be bad. And Danny DeVito. Way to go, Mom. Are twins. Only their mother can tell them apart. Twins. Coming this Christmas. Hi, and welcome back. This time I'm completing the holy trinity of the Archive Analog Renaissance by doing a little video on the Archive Tomcat. If you haven't seen them, go check out the other videos on the Timberwolf and especially about the Rhythm Wolf, as it shares a lot of the DNA of the Tomcat, which in fact is an updated version of the Archive Rhythm Wolf, where Archive addressed what they back then thought were the shortcomings of the Rhythm Wolf, which is therefore by many seen as the Danny Vito to the Tomcat's Schwarzenegger. For your convenience, I've re-recorded some of the drums of the Rhythm Wolf for you to directly compare the changes between the machines. If you've watched my Rhythm Wolf video, you've instantly recognized the form factor, a nice and sturdy build with clicky switches and beefy knobs. Also, they use the exact same sequence that it can record live or in a TR-style step mode and can even sequence an external synth. Some of the much criticized analog drum sounds have been modified or changed and the infamous bass synth part has been replaced by, as Akai calls them, disco toms. Let's listen to the sounds that have been modified from the Rhythm Wolf first. I'll start out with the bass drum, which has been tweaked from somehow 808-like to more of a 909 kick. Now, the Rhythm Wolf, as you can clearly hear, is a much noisier machine. I don't know if it's just my unit, but I've recorded them back to back with the exact same equipment. Anyway, here's the Rhythm Wolf's kick for comparison. Next up is the snare that has been slightly modified. And again, here's the Rhythm Wolf snare for comparison. Next we hear the hi-hats, both closed and open, which still share one DK knob. And here are the Rhythm Wolf's hi-hats. On we go with the new sounds. First the clap. And now for those disco toms. There's a switch for the direction of the pitch band. The toms can also be played tonally on the keyboard. Okay, how about a little jam now? I'll abuse the toms as a baseline kind of sound. And let's not forget about the howl, shall we?
Okay, and we are at the end of the video again. As I hope you could hear and see, the Tomcat sounds are most certainly a bit snappy and punchier, and you can abuse the toms for some interesting sounds, and you can even tune them to become a bass drum. Is it better than the Rhythm Wolf then? Well, I guess you can certainly say it's different. Different enough to justify buying both. The Tomcat usually is a little more expensive than the Rhythm Wolf, but you should still be able to find one cheaply as they are, as the Rhythm Wolf's not very popular machines, but still widely available, because once Akai's analog line of machines bombed in the stores, they were pushed from the shelves and right into the bargain bins, where, luckily, lots of people seem to have picked one up. Anyway, see you in another video soon.